It's Aloha Sunday. We read for seasons, yeah. And it's breakfast with Bob. And Pacho Man, everybody. We are brought to you by Hoka Polar, You can Velofix, Norma Tech, Active Canyon, Form Goggles, Amp Human, and we are at beautiful. Four Seasons Resort, Hualalai, our third place woman this year. Uh, she is no stranger to the podium. It's Sarah Crowley, everybody. <laughs> Huge studio audience here today. <laughs> How you doing, Sarah? Uh, I'm, I'm good, actually. I had a pretty good night's sleep. And, uh, you know, after the finish line party last night, which is awesome and such a, I mean, a great thing to be able to do once you, you do get on the podium. It's one of the most special parts of the race, I think. So... Yeah, had a good night's sleep, and uh, yeah, it's lovely to be here. Look at this amazing <laughs> view. So it's unbelievable. It's unreal. It? <laughs> yeah, this is just the, the such a special place. So you like races where there's a lot going on, and when you come here, because the field is so deep, you're not just by yourself. There's stuff happening all day long. And so coming out of the water and on the bike, where there's some battles going on? Yeah, it's... Um, it's Really, I sort of search for these kind of races because, and and it, I think it lifts me to my best. Um, no question. Yeah, like I think it's uh, it's always fun to sort of see what's going on and see how you can uh, be a bit strategic and and calculate your best your best race. So yeah, yeah. I mean, today, um, yesterday we saw a, cool, a few, you know, things that maybe we weren't quite expecting. I didn't think Lucy would get such a huge gap she out of the big swim. gap. Yeah, that was impressive. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and we had a decent group of like with some runners and some non-runners in the group and um yeah there were some moves played here and there yeah and it was just a, a really interesting day and i think uh yeah it's just great that the women are at such a level now that these things happen so. always mm. and uh the win this year i mean last year uh, it was pretty calm mm. and this year the wind came into play yeah it did actually outbound as well like often in the morning you don't get much wind yeah and i think that's probably the uh you know, kind of obvious because the, there was chop in the swim. Right. So something wasn't the same. And, um, yeah, there was quite a lot of crosswind, particularly before Kauai High, and it was uh, knocking everyone around a little bit. So, um, yeah, there were a few sections where I just sort of had to hope that things <laughs> were going to get blown into, over. Yeah, yeah. I just you're commit not to the it. biggest person in the world. Yeah, yeah, you just have to commit to the uh, to the position. And, uh, yeah. yeah, I think um, sometimes if you're a bit nervous and you sit up, it's actually worse. So you just got to... Just hope for the trust, best. Trust, trust the fact that you trust your equipment, trust all the training, and trust that you've been racing bikes for a while. Yeah, you know how yeah. to do that stuff. <laughs> so then you, you get off the bike, and Lucy's got ten minutes, right? She's got a, a big gap on you guys. Even yeah, more. <clears throat> yeah. There was actually a little play earlier in the race, actually, before just after Kauai High. Yeah. The, um, uh, I'd come down Harvey, and we came back up the hill, and uh, Carrie Lester went on the front, and then right. uh, at this point. Um, Danielle Blamel had just caught the group. Right. And we went through an aid station and she just went off. And uh, it could have changed the race. Like yes. it was a moment where... Um, you either go or you don't. You either go or you don't. And everyone was a little bit shocked by it. And then so, she's a rookie. Yeah. I mean, uh, and she's a very good bike rider right. as well. So she, she obviously backed herself for, for the home section. But, you know, it reformed. But I think maybe that would have been an interesting... If she thing had up. she got away or if i'd gotten away with her maybe right. i'm not sure did you try to go with her oh i did and i had to jump around to to actually go with her to sort of cover that but then the others came back up eventually um, isn't that funny because most of the races you sort of ride steady state oh yeah yeah but here, there's a lot going on back and forth it's a hundred percent it's pretty yeah. fascinating i actually did some cycling once so it kind of i know helped. you're no, a bike racer mind you that a huh? little bit yeah uh so it was kind of that's kind of helpful i think you can you can sort of see these things coming but um yeah and then we got off the bike uh, it was kind of strange because we we did actually make some time back up on lucy and then she pulled away a little more and usually with lucy i've noticed say in some other long course races that we kind of make a bit of time back up because she's solo. So right. she held strong yesterday. And <clears throat> I did kind of think maybe that might hurt her a little bit. But you never know. I mean, it's the world championship. Everyone's fit. So, yeah, uh, yeah, I got off and I didn't even think about it at all, actually. I didn't kind of... It wasn't in my... But, uh, you, you can't... Worry about it later. You you gotta, yeah, exactly. you got to spend the first hour just eating and drinking right. and and focusing on your form so we're, when you get off the bike and you're you're running uh were you with some other girls or were you by yourself that group was together they so that stayed everybody yeah stayed but you know i didn't even really when laura phillip was in there too yeah there was a few i i didn't really look back <laughs> to be honest <laughs> uh yeah i just get 
got got going right. and um i think yeah i just sort of settled into a really good f- rhythm and i didn't i tried to just make it a little easier and not not stress too much sure. and relax and try not to take that first section alley too hard because that's kind of common and so you know that the back uh, last year i hurt a bit coming out of the energy lab with a right. new run course and so i just wanted to make sure i was okay for that section and so meanwhile you're gaining ground on lucy yeah i didn't really think that it would make up the time until i saw annie pass lucy and there was you know the switch back inside the energy lab yeah. and i could see what had happened and annie gave me a little cheer and i I was sort of supportive of Annie because we all did such good work on the bike. It was no one was taking, you know, it was all like fair. No and one stuff. was sitting it. Everybody was. Yeah, everyone was their doing time, their yeah. their job. So, I think um, she 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 gave me a little cheer, <laughs> like you can do it too. <laughs> and I'm like, but you know, you sort of think, oh, well, actually, this is possible now because, um, you know, we got a long way to go still. So, yeah. Um, yeah, and then I just kept going with the rhythm, and everything was fine. And then I think. What actually happened was maybe I I caught Lucy too soon. Right, you, maybe you pushed too hard to catch yeah, her. Yeah, or no, I think maybe there was just too much road left. Like sometimes when you want to make a pass, like you want to do it like twenty five and a half. So yeah, you want to respond. Yeah, maybe on the hill where I see I pass Lucy maybe a k or two before the hill. Yes. Or maybe a kilometer. Right. Uh, and you almost need to make it on the hill, and then it's done. Right. But uh, you know it was kind of done, but then I just had. I just ran out of energy. I just yeah. needed an aid station. Right. Uh, and I remember going just before I passed Lucy, I was like, oh, I wish I had another gel. <laughs> and <laughs> I so mean, you I'll just take Lucy s- for one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll just take some Coke. And, and yeah, you know, yeah. and it was kind of, uh, it was just one of those moments you have in the race. If I had it earlier, right. you wouldn't have noticed it. Right. But, it's but it was time. right when it didn't need to happen. So It's, yeah. it's not often <laughs> when someone, when you catch somebody, I mean, that no, the repass is yeah, uh, yeah, a repass. rare. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. So, how long were you in front of her? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe okay. a K or something. A K or so. Yeah. And were you surprised when she came back? A little bit. I, yeah. I, I, there was a thought I had maybe for a second there. Once I passed her, I probably should leg it a little bit more. But yeah. I then I was like, oh, don't, don't, because you don't want to. It, it's such a fragile moment. You, you're so exhausted from the day. Yeah. And you know, in my natural inclination, if it was a running race, would have been to leg it and, right. and put some put the boot in. But then I was nervous of this because you don't know if you're going to even right continue. Yeah, you, you don't you're know if you're going to finish at that yeah, point. It's such a long day, and you're running so hard and racing so hard all day that it could have been fatal. So <laughs> exactly. I was sort of like, mm. <laughs> so then she comes back by you, and did she gain much ground? Or it was like one of those things where she looked like she was right there. Oh, she just was on afterburners actually i was like what <laughs> Did but you, you didn't know about the whole dog thing no that's true yeah, i was yeah. like uh, after that i'm like well, that's okay i can understand the motivation yes. with getting so in. if lucy wins she she's gonna get two, two dogs. dogs if she got second place she, she gets, gets one, one but third place she gets which none. now she's in third she gets zero yeah so, so I, I can understand the motivation. Exactly, yeah. right? If she had said, listen, I get a dog. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah maybe I'll be well, like, oh, it's like, okay. Yeah, it's okay. 20, 30 grand. I'll, yeah. yeah. I'll give that to you. That wouldn't be a problem. I'll yeah. trade you it for the dog. I'll trade you for the dog. That would be good. <laughs> but now you're coming down to Lee Drive and you're third, right? And yeah. And you've, you've done that before. Yeah. Uh, but there's just something, you know, when you're not on the podium like last year, you appreciate the podium. Uh, yeah, I mean... Although I feel like maybe, you know, some a couple of little things didn't maybe go my way in the end. I, you know, you're most proud of it. Um, the performance was so much better as well. Like this uh, was. Oh yeah, like it's twenty minutes faster. It's like the standard is so much higher, and I'm proud that I was able to like lift as well with the with the standard lifting. Um, yes. And so yeah, I think uh, although it's you know. Yeah, to the podium of the Hawaiian Ironman is just amazing, and I'm yeah very proud of yesterday. Well, especially you run sub three, right? And yeah, it was my first sub three actually. First three yeah. and eight and go and sub nine. And then yeah, yeah, that, eight forty eight. Sub nine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> very cool. Very yeah. Cool. So now, do you take time off? What happens next? Yeah, I think so. I haven't Good. really thought about it. I think we talked about it a little bit yeah. earlier. And so now, and when you finish third. You just have to validate, right? You don't have to go win, or do you still yeah, have to win? Yeah, that's actually a really amazing... Uh, it's huge, <laughs> It just right? changes the... You can tour. Yeah. Are uh, you one of those people, I remember talking to Craig Alexander, says, yeah, but if I have to validate, I don't want to go somewhere and finish 20th. Oh, no, gonna, I won't do this. Yeah, right? You're no, going to no, go I'll somewhere go, to but win. But it gives me time to get fit. 
Right. Yeah. And not to, have to, to feel not like. To not stress about it. And go yeah. into the race knowing whatever place I get is, is going to be fine. Yeah. So you can pick, because you like you these races. You can pick races. more challenging. Right. And yeah. you can pick a race <laughs> with a Good, good field. field exactly because you know all you gotta do is finish so exactly that so it doesn't matter it yeah. puts you in a way better position than the other girls mm. right yeah it's, it's really good uh, what, so is yeah, it a, what is it about this race that suits you it's, it just seems like the uh, course is uh, it really sets yeah up I mean it strengths. seems like there's people that do suit this race it's yes. interesting isn't it I mean yeah. you know you have people that perform all year and then there's certain people that come up for this right. run I think it's it's everything. It's the combination of the conditions. I think my body type and my right. something about maybe the way I'm, I'm fine with heat. Right. I really prefer heat. Yeah. I grew up in heat. Um, maybe this and then also, yeah, just strategy and competition and um, and these things. So, you know, you've seen it with people just repeating the yes. performances. Uh, it's definitely uh, perhaps uh, compared to some other races, maybe it's one that you... you perhaps built to go well at it or yeah. not it's, it's interesting did it surprise you that there was no daniella reef sighting during the uh during the bike ride or did <laughs> you even know i think we were the whole day <laughs> everyone's, <laughs> going, where is she? everyone's brace 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 for the pass oh, yeah, like, exactly. is it 200 meters where is she at it's like we everyone it was like everyone was on high alert there was like uh, a shadow back there yeah, somewhere yeah. and she's going to be coming out of the bushes yeah, it's like, and coming uh, past us yeah in stealth but um yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think you, you, Danny's had such an amazing um, few years and it's such an incredible career that I think, you know, I actually think it's amazing she still fought through and finished for the day. Like, Absolutely. it's so easy to just go, ah, you know. It's not, I'm not going to win. Yeah, or I'm not it's not my podium. day or yeah, whatever. Yeah. And I think, um, it's, you know, she honoured the race. And, yes. Um, yeah, I don't think I don't think it's anything um, too too much to think that, you know, Oh, we're ahead of her or anything. She's she's still there. She's just um, obviously she's had something happen well, for a day, and she's not had the day that right she expected or whatever. And, and we've seen it before with mm. Jan uh, when mm. they when they're injured or don't oh, have the yeah. day they want. The next year they're on fire. Exactly. <laughs> so exactly. you know that Danielle Reef will be back next year and with a vengeance. A hundred percent. Um, which you want as well because it just changes things again. It so. does change things again. Mm. Sarah, as always, thank you for taking so much time and coming pleasure. out here to beautiful Four Seasons. It was so hard to do. <laughs> Such a pleasure. Third place finisher, Sarah Crowley, everybody. Pancho Man, take us out. It's a little hot Sunday here at Four Seasons. Cheese. And it's breakfast with Bob.